As Tropical Storm Dorian takes aim at Puerto Rico, people here are still recovering from the devastation of Hurricane Maria, and that was two years ago. So that's why now they are preparing for the worst. The island is not pretty anymore. Some people who don't trust the government's preparations have decided to leave. I'm so insecure here with the, um, the power, the, the food, the security, so I'm leaving. Most people are staying. We went to FEMA to find out how ready they are. What gives you confidence that you're better prepared now? I think, first of all, the amount of supplies we have. Two years after Hurricane Maria, 30,000 homes are still covered with blue tarps, and about 1,000 roads remain impassable around the island. If you look around just at this warehouse, and now we have five where we used to have one, there's probably 10 times the commodities on the island that were here pre-Maria. So we've spent the last two years learning some lessons and making sure that we're much better prepared. Yesterday, President Trump claimed that Congress approved $92 billion in aid for Puerto Rico after Maria's devastation. That's not true. Congress has only allocated roughly $43 billion. Less than $14 billion of that has actually gotten to the island. Well, learning from what went wrong. The CEO of the island's power company, Jose Ortiz, made a bold prediction last night. He said if the entire island were to lose power in a worst-case scenario, he predicts he could have the lights back on in two weeks. We have to restore as quick as possible. It's not acceptable what happened in the last time that many people wait for 11 months to get power back. Imagine if it was your family. So it's, it's going to be different. FEMA has brought in 100 satellite phones that were activated only last night and today are being distributed to all 78 mayors on the island. It may not seem like a big deal, but that's a game changer because even that at the most basic level didn't exist after Hurricane Maria. Some mayors say they got a cell phone, but the service wasn't even turned on. David Begno, CBS News, waiting on Dorian from Ponce, Puerto Rico.